What is going on, you guys? It's your boy Bizman Cam here, back with another video. And uh, today, we're gonna have the most informative video I have ever had on this channel, really. I'm gonna be taking you guys through the steps that I went through to become a legit vending business. And um, you guys are just gonna see me. I have clips on my phone and the process that I went through for licensing, different permits that you need. Now, keep in mind, every state is different, so you need to look into the, your state and the permits that you need, but this is an informative video to kind of get you guys started because before this, I had no idea what I was doing. You guys will see in the video, I'm a little confused on certain things, but I kind of figured out as I went so I can become a legit business, which opens up a lot more doors because, you know, once you're a taxpayer, you know, you're, you're, in, you're in there. That's all they want pretty much from you. They want you to become a legit business and then they want you to pay your taxes. So I want to do all this legit on my vending business which will open doors I can get into you know bigger spots with my vending machines and um, get credit card readers installed and all that stuff so I'm gonna recap at the end of this video everything that I went through and what licenses and permits that I got for my vending machine business and uh, just kind of recap everything because the video might be a little confusing but uh, yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and before this video starts I need you guys to pause this video hit that like button comment subscribe hit the notification bell right now all right, if you guys didn't hit the notification bell and like and everything, then you guys are messed up. All right, we'll see you guys in the video. Hope you enjoy. So I think this is step one. I'm headed to my count, my local county clerk's office, um, which my count, my actual county clerk office is like an hour away. There's actually one in the city that might be like a like a sub to that one. So I'm really, really hoping that they do name filing here, and I'm pretty sure that's the first step. So I'm gonna head here now, and hopefully. This is where you do it. I just happen to have like a list that I can have as far as because I'm gonna try to like I'm gonna instead of like doing the business under Guys, sorry I forgot to record myself actually going in there, but I did it. So thank God that that was actually like a little subdivision office of uh, the main office in the main county uh, that I live in. It, this one actually was in my city and it happened to work uh, just the same I actually did file I got my fictitious name so I'm pretty sure that's the first step in pretty much every business you have to choose a name and officially uh, like get that name and so now what I have to do I don't know why or like why this is even a rule I, I barely even understand this yet but I have to publicize my name in a news article or like a newspaper for uh, within the next 30 days and then the f once I publish the first article it has to be published for four uh, four weeks uh, in a row once a week and then um, this business uh, name that I chose will officially be mine for five years it'll be good for five years so now I'm about to head over to the city hall which is actually in my city obviously thank god we have one here and then um, try to file for a business license I'm not 100% sure if you need an EIN, which or a, yeah, EIN, uh, employment identification number, something like that, I believe, um, which is just for tax purposes. I don't know if you need that first. I'm going to try to see if I can get my business license. And uh, if I can get those both today, man, we'll, we'll, we'll be set. I just got done inside that building. Uh, this is my city hall and I found out some stuff. So I'm over here thinking that in order to be a sole proprietor, you need to file like online or with the state to be like a sole proprietor. But what the information the lady gave me, she pretty much said, if you have a business license within the city, which is what I'm gonna have, and I also need to get a license with the county because my, my city itself requi requires you to have your own business license for the city and then I have to get a county license if I'm doing like uh, business outside like just this city um, so I, and I do plan to try to get some um, locations within the city that I live in just kind of you know going door to door type of thing eventually but um, I did get the license application but I guess in order to obtain a business license I need a seller's permit which I can fill out online to be able to sell goods um, and also like a sale, it'll, it'll give me like a sales tax number or whatever. Um, 
which will also help me with filing for quarterly taxes and stuff. So, I got, sorry, I'm out of breath because I just ran up the stairs, but I got the business uh, license um, application, got my, um, my DBA, and now I just need to find a newspaper for it. I also need to get my seller's permit, come back here, give them that and my DBA, and then they should give me my business license. If so that's it so far, guys, I'll probably continue this video another uh, another day. All right, you guys, so it is a little bit later in the day, uh, same day. Um, we are going on the California government website because the state that I live in to apply for my seller's permit, uh, which is the next thing I need. So I'm just filling out this little questionnaire to begin. And I believe once I fill this out, I should be able to get started on the registration looks like it looks like we should be able to hopefully register for this seller permit um, I'm not sure if I need an EIN to fill this out but I'll update you guys if I do so I just went ahead and finished up my um, application and I think I got everything submitted like fine I think um, I actually did get my my um, seller's permit which is the next tab over that you guys can see on the top of the screen but I am blocking um, this out with a Sonic gift card. Um, I believe it's my like sales tax or like account number or whatever. And um, I'm not sure if they're gonna mail me or if there's anything else, but I clicked the link that it gave me where it says print seller's permit, you guys can see right there. Um, and it opened up the other link and I think that's all I need. I think I got my seller's permit. I'm not sure if they're gonna give me anything else, but I'm gonna go ahead and print that out, take it back to City Hall tomorrow and um, give them that and also my fictitious name filing in EIN, which is also very simple. simple. So pretty much after we um, do that stuff and get the EIN, which will be my uh, tax number like for, for the state to be able to identify me, I think that's it. Um, but I'll keep you guys posted, keep you guys updated. A little update, I don't wanna show you guys above where I'm at right now, cause it's showing something important. But uh, there's this letter, uh, there's this thing saying, um, that a security code will be mailed to my address uh, for some uh, code that I need to, to be able to log into this California government website or like whatever for my business. Um, but I do think that I did get the correct paper for my seller's permit. I don't want to show too much. Here is the business license um, paper. Um, so it's just like a little checklist of stuff that you need. And all I need really for my business is um, proof of name and a business license filled out. And then I mean, it's pretty basic stuff, the license, and then you kind of just do a statement of your operations, which just you kind of explain what type of operations you'll be having within the city limits. Um, also, if you're a renter of the house that you run your business out of, and technically I run mine out of my house because I don't have like a location where I keep my stuff, I have to, and I do rent where I live, so um, I do have to go to the property manager and just get them to sign this little portion here, just letting them know that, hey, I'm running, technically running a business out of here, which the property owners of this place will have no problem at all because I'm really not doing anything besides keeping my product here. It's not like I'm having vending machines in my house, so. What's going on you guys, it's the next morning and uh, I just finished out up filling out my uh, business license and I got everything put together. But of course, the very last thing I need is a rental property owner approval. It's so dumb that if you don't have like an industrial building for your business, like that your home has to be considered it because when you're renting and stuff, sometimes it could be very difficult to get a, a hold of your, like the owner or whatever. So I guess, and like they either let the owner or property manager and we have property manager at the places that we live so i guess only the regional manager can fill this part out which is obnoxious because there's a bunch of just i guess regular property managers in there um but they don't have the power enough just to literally sign this hey they said that the regional manager should be there later today but i have work at six and she said maybe check back at like two or three but she did mention that she should be coming in today um but i'm just a little frustrated because i wanted to get stuff done early in the day so Alrighty, guys so we kind of ran into a dilemma um i went into my condo complex leasing office to go get this certification signed and they said that they don't allow like i talked to the regional manager which is what i was waiting for and they said they don't allow businesses to technically be operated for now i guess i'm going back inside i thought i was going to get it signed right now and head over but 
I guess not. So um, stuff happened, guys. Stuff happens, and I'm um, just kind of rolled the punches, and I'll figure it out. But you'll, you guys will see what will happen in this video. Hopefully, I can still get it. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. I called the city hall and I asked what would be the other option and they said people in my situation usually have virtual offices which I've never even heard of in my life. It's an office space um, that's like a real place but it's for everyone that rents it and I can actually use this office space as like my business address literally like 10 minutes 15 minutes away from where I live so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and it's a six month lease there's a hundred dollar startup cost so this it sucks guys that I have to do this this extra money that I have to spend but um, it's all, it'll also be a write-off as well, so gotta look at it in a positive manner and it's a space that maybe I'll end up using, who knows. So right now I'm actually on waiting for a conference call with a notary uh, person, uh, you can't really see, but I'm waiting for them to answer the phone so I can go on a conference call with them so they can notarize this form that I've filled out to um, use this virtual office and then it'll officially be an address that I can use. You know, at this um, address, at the box that you're signing up. Okay, cool. So I'll put a blue dot there again so you can see it. And then it's tapped as been registered, gives the county, state, and date of registration. Has What's going on, you guys? Uh, it's the next day. Uh, I just got confirmation for my virtual office. I guess it takes a day for it to go through. And I thought it was gonna be quicker, so I actually had to wait until the next day to be able to get it confirmed and actually use it as like my official business location. Um, so I'm glad I got that figured out quick. But we're at C Hall. I'm gonna try to fill out another business application with my new address on it. I got the address written on my email and everything like that, so I'm gonna try to fill it out. All right, you guys, so I just need to get signatures for these right here for department approvals. And then it looks like I should be able to get the license. So I'm just waiting for someone to come out right now. We might have ran into another problem, guys. Holy crap, you guys. I just got my business license. I have my business license number and I am official. All I need is to apply for an EIN online, which literally you apply and get it right away. So I finally got it, you guys. Um, they had problems, I guess, with my virtual office because uh, fire and like police or whatever have to sign off on this to make sure like everything's okay and for some reason they had problems with my virtual office at first um saying that like there was like there might have been like safety hazards or something at the building that i actually signed the lease with and some and that wouldn't even have been my problem because i don't actually run my business from there so i explained that to her and then she went to like the fire department whoever runs that and they decided they would sign it off I guess that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the outro for a recap. All right, you guys, that is the end of the video. Get an official name, um, a DBA doing business as. So I chose you select vending. That is the vending machine business name I'm gonna be going with. So I went ahead and went to the uh, my local county uh, clerk office and I went ahead and filed as that. I still gotta um, pay some newspapers to uh, published that for four weeks in a row um, but that is the step number one the second step is to get a seller's permit like I said all the steps are different for everyone but this is what I went through to get my um, legit business so you get a seller's permit I got my seller's permit which was online through the county step three was to go get the vent uh, the business license for the city which I ended up getting with those two things so I have all three now I have my business license and um, that's pretty much what it took um, to get my stuff, I also just have to get an EIN for tax purposes just so that way when I file I have, you know, the the, um, the IRS knows who I am. But like I said guys, everything is different for everyone, um, for every state, so make sure you check your state's regulations and rules. I'm a sole proprietor, it could be different for LLCs, uh, if you're a bigger corporation or whatever. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to hit that like button, uh, leave a comment, subscribe, and if you made it all the way through, comment. We're official now, baby. <laughs> but alright guys, peace out.